both the Quran and Hadith make references to evil eye. Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him confirmed that the evil eye born by jealousy or envy is real and capable of causing harm or misfortune. Suggested by scientific explanation that the human eye had the power of releasing invisible rays of energy that were in some cases potent enough to kill the children or small animals. Eyes are a source of deadly rays that were supposed to spring up like poison darts from the inner recesses of a person possessing the evil eye. It starts when a person likes a thing, then his evil feelings affect it by means of his repeated looking at the object of his jealousy. Everyone who puts the evil eye on another is unwise, but not every envy puts the evil eye on another. So seeking refuge with Allah from the one who envies includes seeking refuge with him from the one who puts the evil eye on another. The evil eye is like an arrow which comes from the soul of the one who envies. Sometimes it hits him and sometimes it misses. If the target is exposed and unprotected, it will affect him. But if the target is cautious and armed, the arrow will have no effect. Jealousy was the cause of the first murder on earth in the story of Habil and Kabil. Kabil, because of jealousy, murdered Habil. Ibn Abbas reported Allah's messenger as saying, the influence of an evil eye is a fact. If anything would precede the destiny, it would be in the influence of an evil eye. And when you are asked to take bath as a cure from the influence of an evil eye, you should take bath. Evil eye can even change your destiny. Allah's messenger said to a small girl in the house of Umm Salama that he had been seeing on her face black stains and told her that was due to the influence of an evil eye and he asked that she should be cured with the help of incantation hoping that her face should become spotless how to treat evil eye one has to protect himself against the devils among the evil jinn and mankind by having strong faith in allah and by putting his trust in him and seeking refuge with him Reciting the last two surahs of the Quran, Surah Al-Ikhlas, Surah Al-Fatiha, and Idol Kursi. And whoever puts his trust in Allah, then he will suffice him. The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, You may live for a long time after I am gone. So tell people that if anyone ties his beard or wears round his neck a string to ward off the evil eye, or cleanses himself with animal dung or bone. Muhammad has nothing to do with him. Islamic tradition holds that Muslims should rely on God alone to keep them safe from sorcery and malicious spirits rather than resorting to talismans, which are charms or amulets, bearing symbols or precious stones, believed to have magical powers or other means of protection. To avoid dangerous envy, be kind and courteous to people. Spread salam and give gifts to families and friends. Displaying lofty manners will dispel the jealousy of others and remove evil desires from their hearts. Do not share or spread any good news about yourself except to those who will be happy for your good fortune. This may even include families and relatives since it can be those closest to you whose envy can cause you the most harm.